Okay, folks, here's another video, um, vlog rant. I was watching the Young Turks YouTube channel. They did a story about Obama's grand bargain with the Republicans. About three to one tax cut. When Jake Uger mentioned a list of tax cuts for the middle class and poor. The first, say the second tax cut that really got me little, oh, concern. Under the grand bargain, 11 billion is going to be taking out military retirement. I may not served in the military, but I know people who served in the military. That's a equivalent to a slap in the face. The pro the proponents of the living billion tax cuts are treating veterans like this. Like a depends adult diaper. You might consider that as being a little insulting. I'm using that as a, a analogy. That adult diaper is equivalent of being screwed by the federal government. The federal government uh, believes that the veterans who fought in World War II, if there's some surviving veterans in World War I, Korea, Iraq, Af Afghanistan, Gulf War, they figure, hell, they won't m miss the money out of their benefits. That's like treating veterans like disposable adult diapers. They can piss and crap all over you without giving a, a care in the world. They figured that veterans do not have lobbyists. They figured veterans don't contribute to their campaigns. I got a message. Hey veterans, if you have say maybe YouTube uh, uh, accounts or if you have children or grandchildren who are internet savvy and if they have YouTube uh, accounts you better set up and take notice if the 11 billion dollars in tax cuts for military veterans goes in you're going to be hit the hardest Veterans sacrifice in the wars to help us give us our freedoms. We should treat veterans with respect and dignity. Not screw them around by pissing and shitting on them. And veterans, I believe it's time to do a little um, airborne or deep sits uh, on your congressmen and tell them F N. Buck no on our military benefits. I believe uh, the defense contractors, millionaires and billionaires get top priority. 
the the, the defense contractors figured war is more profitable than the veterans who sacrificed themselves and defended it. If the veterans um, come back, say, with little to no injuries, some lost limbs, damage um, psychological and emotional problems, they're not even worth it. They consider veterans as disposable. We can throw the veterans out with the um, damaged limbs and or and if they serve out and replace them with a fresh, healthy veteran and do the process over and over uh, uh, again. Veterans, from now to the end of the year, you better immobilize, fight back, and tell the Veterans Committee made of four Republicans and four Democrats this. Well, good luck. And this is R2B 1966, known as Roy Toomey from Dagsboro, Delaware, broadcasting from his Acer computer. Time is 5.42 Eastern Standard Time, p.m. The date is October, wait a minute, November 13th, 2012. Sorry uh, about that. Good night and good luck. And keep fighting, vets.